Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah All of us are aware of the dangers of bid'ah of innovating in the religion of Islam. In innovation, a habit of Allah, as the ulama mentioned, we're talking about not bid'ah logwi, which means bid'ah as a linguistic term, which it refers to, for example, new technologies, new innovation in worldly matters. But we're referring to things that are directly related to the religion. And directly related to the religion refers to what? Meaning ibadah. Things, ibadah and mu'amalat. Ibadah and transactions that contradict the shara, that have no asl in the shara, that they have no origin in the sharia of Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Man ahdatha fi amrina hadha malaysa minhu fuhu rad. Whoever innovates in this affair of ours will have it rejected. Ufi ruwaya fi Muslim, and in a narration, in Sahih Muslim, Man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna laysa alayhi amruna fuhurad. Whoever does innovates in this affair of ours, something that is not from it will have it rejected. So these ahadith let us know that when it comes to our worship and when it comes to the affairs directly from the religion that we should not increase we should not make them less or compromise those affairs for example, the one who says, I want to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they have a good intention because they want to come closer to Allah. They just want to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They just want to be near to their Lord. They just want to worship Him subhanahu and believe in the Amur al Ghaibiyah. They believe in the unseen. That's all they want. They want to come closer to Allah. But they compromise or innovate something from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Or in that aspect of ibadah, for example, he says, I want to come closer to Allah. So Fajr, I will pray for a rakat, then instead of two. Two is what's mashroor. This is what's legislated by Allah and His Messenger. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam However, this person believing that they're coming closer to Allah has actually gotten further from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Because it wasn't sufficient their intention They didn't follow Exactly what was legislated as a sunnah. I don't mean something that was extra as far as the sunnah But this is the way Fajr must be prayed. It is legislated It is wajib that that Fajr Prayer is two rakah, two units. So the, it shows us that the intention alone is not sufficient. And look to the statement when those people say who argue that there's bidah hasana, they said there's a good bidah. And what they mean by this often 
is that they can compromise the deen or they can add something in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that this will be good because the intention was good. But this is incorrect. This is an incorrect understanding. And I believe it was Imam Shafi'i or is Imam Malik who said Men ibtada'a shayin fi deen faqad za'ma anna muhammad qad khana risala hukama qal so I believe it was a statement of Imam Shafi'i rahmatullah alayhi who said whoever innovates in the religion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has claimed that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has cheated the message or has not delivered the message correctly and how is this? because it's inferred that from this person's innovating and saying that and doing this act of worship that Muhammad وسلم, didn't do it's as if the person is saying that they know better that they know a better way to come closer to Allah when the Prophet وسلم, let us know and he was a Prophet وسلم, that he loves Allah more he is closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than us this is why we follow his sunnah and obey Allah and obey His Messenger. And obedience to the Messenger وسلم, is obedience to Allah. So we don't know better than Him وسلم, even though we feel it is something from our desires that we can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's not the case. Because what was legislated is what we're ordered with. And if we stick to that, what's mashroor, what is legislated, what is mandated by the religion, then we'll find safety. And may Allah grant us success. And may Allah forgive us all. And may Allah forgive us for any and all forms of bid'ah. Because it's not that we can always count ourselves away from bid'ah. Perhaps we follow into a bid'ah in ways in which we can't, we don't know. Perhaps we commit shirk in ways we don't know. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushri kabika wa ana a'lamu wa sakhfuruk lima na'am O Allah I seek refuge I, I seek your forgiveness for those things from shirk that I do knowingly and that which I do unknowingly because we are not always aware of the sins that we do and may Allah Azza wa Jal grant us success and forgiveness and ikhlas with the bad ala sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam